Hello Doers and welcome to this video where we will focus on order management in the point of sale application. After following so many of our tutorials, you know that running a point of sale system isn't just about making sales. You also have to ensure that every transaction is smooth and adapted to the customer. You must keep quantities in mind, apply discounts, customize prices, or even handle multiple payment methods simultaneously. This is why in this video, we will uh, walk you through the complete order management process. Ready? Let's go ahead and jump right into this. First, let's go ahead and open our point of sale application and start a session in the Petcron shop. Let's open register here and I will add some products to my car. So uh, let's say that I want to purchase the cactus cat toy. And if I add another product like, like uh, this cat igloo here, what I can do if I wanted to is give my customer a discount. So if I want to add a 15% discount, nothing's easier. All I need to do is click on the percentage symbol here and set discount at 15%. You can see that the price was immediately updated. Now let's add a third product. Uh, let's say this uh, transportation bag here. And uh, what we can also do is give this customer a custom price. So to do that, I can simply click on the price button here and I can change the price to, let's say 65 instead of 70. You see, it was also immediately updated. Perfect. Now that my products are added to the cart, I can also click on the customer button here and choose my customer. So by default, I have my previous customer, Emmanuel. I could remove him and add another customer, let's say uh, Nathan here. Perfect. Now all that's left to do is uh, to proceed the payment. So I'll go ahead and click on payment here and select cash as payment method. By the way, if a customer doesn't have enough cash, you can always split the amount between different payment methods. And that's correct. So for example, we could enter 15 euros here as uh, whatever my customer paid in cash. And then I select card and it automatically will calculate the remaining amount. So I'll just click on validate and the payment was successful. Perfect. That was it for today's tutorial. So we've successfully managed an order by adding our product, applying discounts, customizing prices and assigning a customer. And we also processed the payment using multiple methods. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you for watching.